keep it with okay. you. Yeah, just, keep it with you, just in case. No I mean, you know. It's the start of the conversation. Highly likely you're living in Canada, and then the chances is that you might meet a lot of non-Muslims. Yeah, right. yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like uh, most of my non-Muslim friends, they are not interested. So if I take it, it's I know like uh, for Muslims, it's a very respected thing. So it's you're a Muslim for, yourself, right? No, I'm not. So. Okay, you're not a Muslim. Wait, you, you said you 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 were Muslim or what? No, no, no. Like I said, I I come from Bangladesh, so my family background. Like, you're not religious or you're not a Muslim? They're two different things. Well, You could I be mean, a Muslim, you could be a Muslim, but still not practicing. Well, in terms of belief, I don't believe the fundamentals, so I think it's safe to say that I'm not a Muslim. So uh, you believe in one God? No. So you don't believe in God? No. Okay. Like, in the sense of that you could be saying. Like, you no. believe that there was a creator that created the whole universe? Or do you think the game came out of nowhere? I, so, like, uh, in, in terms of the traditional definitions, no, forget about the traditional definition. What you Talk about your, like, okay, so what's your definition of a god? Depends on that, right? So, okay. So like, the god that you're denying, what is that definition? So you're denying a god? Uh, I'm denying, yes. So I'm denying. What, do you know the definition of the god that you're denying? Yes. So what like is what I'm saying is some conscious creator who has certain properties, like the traditionally omniscient or omniscient. Right? Don't tell me traditionally. Okay. Why so, are you clinging back to tradition? So, yeah, so Why because I'm, de I'm denying the traditional god. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you, uh, you say some sort of a physical cause no. or some like it, it depends on like what god you're talking about so no. the one i'm denying no. that has the traditional properties of being omnipotent omniscient and omnipresent mm -hmm. and all those things so in the, that sense i deny that thing okay even we don't believe in a omnipresent god omnipotent omnipresent omniscient conscious creator god. That's uh -huh. what I mean. because so, the, what about the just a creator do you, do you believe that the universe was created or do you feel like over a period of time like, it, that depends what you mean by created like created in the sense that it's a or like because you only have two options either there was a being there was an entity that created everything out of nothing or like it depends on the, like what entity you're talking forget about forget about who the entity is just now just the concept of the fact that there was no, nothing that because that's important because you know like if you're talking about an entity what, what's like the properties of the entity right okay so well, if you're saying that it's a conscious like uh, again um, i'm referring to the traditional word Okay, okay. Because, I understood. Yeah. I understood. Yeah. You know, okay, because you like the properties, if I want to talk about, it's a lot of properties, right? Mm. So it, it takes a lot of time to talk about. Okay. Them. So I just refer like, okay, traditionally okay. it has this property. Fair enough. The entity refers to what and to who, right? But can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Do you believe that the universe was created or it was always existing, or it I'm came out of sure. nowhere? Huh? I don't think we anyone knows. No, I mean, I mean, it's a simple question. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm. What does science say? Do you believe science? Science is not a matter of belief. Sir. No, I'm asking you. I study physics, so okay. like science is not a matter of... Belief. What does physics say about the existence of universe? Physics doesn't know yet. So science hasn't reached that point? Yeah, we are trying many things, but we are not sure yet. Do you think that everything in the universe began to exist? We are not sure about that either. Have you heard of the Big Bang? Yes, but the Big Bang is a very kind of outdated theory and uh, that's physics? not something... Yeah. Who said that? Did you show it? Like it's current physics? works in physics, everything okay. is done, like uh, it's pretty outdated. Like it's not a, a mainstream theory anymore. I mean, do you see intelligence in the universe? Because, yes. Uh, so, because well, you know why? Because what does it refer to? When you see intelligence in the universe, what does it refer to? Uh, uh, you said like the Big Bang because uh, it does not take quantum physics into account. It's just a general relativistic assumption based on like uh, uh, many of the approximations we use, like matter dominance and all that. So then we have a Big Bang model, but uh, because we know that in the large scale structures, quantum effects are important. So we have no, like Big Bang is pretty outdated in that sense, but okay. the problem is we don't yet have a very good, like sufficient quantum theory to okay. describe that. So uh, you think, so you think that's the so universe is always existing? I don't know, that's what I'm saying. I don't, okay. It doesn't was, matter was, what I think. So that you don't deny position. that either? I don't know, I just have to say I don't know. Because, because you know, that was the previous position in, in physics. Like physicists used to say that the universe is eternal, and so they had like a better argument or, uh, uh, I think you're talking about the steady state model, but uh, that, that doesn't that, work that, either. So like it was replaced. at this point, uh, the, if you see with the work in theoretical physics, the consensus position is that we don't know yet. For example, we have low quantum gravity. Mm -hmm. It says how far big bounds so we have an infinite universe, mm -hmm. eternal, like there's always there. Okay. And like if you say string theory, we will have this like multiverse with many universes okay. and everything. But none of these are like tested. So if there was no universe, would you know about all these things? Sorry. If there was no universe, would you know about there all these things? Universe. 
Uh, so, so that's what I'm saying. So the basic question that we are actually bringing you back to is that do you believe that the universe was always existing or it began to exist? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Okay, so what you're not denying that either. It doesn't make yeah. sense because if you're saying that it didn't exist, let's say that's one proposition that it didn't exist and then the Big Bang happened and then everything came to be after that. Like, if that is true, then you, you, what you're saying is that it just did it on its own. Like, nothing just... And that's... Okay, so like, uh, you're... All, that's also possible because, you know, in quantum mechanics, we have these things called um, electron fluctuations. Uh, they are in like a state of nothing, low, no energy and everything. Mm. But because of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, particles pop out of like uh, thin air, basically. So okay. We uh, have a model mm -hmm. of the universe coming mm -hmm. out of like that. Okay. So if there was no universe, would you talk about these things? I'm yeah, bringing you back to the same so, question. Uh, you're not answering that question, you're bouncing it back on the same. No, uh, okay. So I have to go one by one. So you first asked me that uh, the previous question I forgot. So I got here. I said, if there was no universe, would you talk about no, no, this? Before this. So, like you said, uh, whether it there was, uh, the universe started from a point or not. Mm. Okay. So I just answered that question. So mm. now the question comes you're saying that uh, whether there was a universe or not. So uh, there is already a universe. So, no, so, no, so one second, one second. So you, yeah. you assume that you answered. No, 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 no. Like the no, thing you is. You're just going back to it. No, no, no. Like yeah. I, I, I just answered the previous question that he asked. So, so now, what was the previous question? He asked, like, uh, whether the. No, so, so he, said, he said that particles can come into existence on their own, even yeah, though yeah. matter can't be destroyed or added, right? Like matter is just, no, it like, can only uh, be like... Uh, it's not like that there's a matter energy to them, it's not a pure matter. Because matter, as far as I know, it can't come into existence, it's just out of the It can actually, like in the classical model, like the world we see around us, mm. over here it can, but in the large scale it can. So on, on what basis like, can we know this? Like we have the, experiments. That they, they said they saw that there was absolutely nothing. Yeah, we have experiments proving this. It, where on, on Earth? Yeah, like in in labs like CERN and Fermi Lab. Bro. <laughs> yeah, we have. What, what is it called? Like what was the experiment? Uh, Did you know? Or? You could just look up uh, vacuum fluctuation and all that. So you're yeah. trying to so you're trying to say of the Heisenberg so you're trying to say so you so this is your position at this point okay let's not confuse no, hold on, hold on. my position is I don't know no, I'm going to repeat your position yeah. what I understood of your oh, conversation. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Is that you're saying that things can actually come into existence from nothing? That's your position. Yeah. Okay. That's your position. So things can actually come into existence from nothing. Yeah. Define nothing. Like, okay. Now def define nothing means like. Don't tell me. Don't give me the. the don't no, open no, no. elaborate in front of me. Wait, wait, wait. The simple no, question no, no. I'm asking okay, is let that. Let me go back to okay. you. Okay. Define nothing. Sure. Like nothing is the absence of uh, matter and energy. Nothing right? is the absence of everything. Absence of matter and energy. Mat absence of matter. Where did you get this definition from? That's the definition. Where? Like, so you are. Okay, if I say I have nothing listen, to give, you can I give you something. No, no, listen. No, no. Hold, on, hold, 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 hold on, 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 hold on. What is your name? Let me talk again. What is your name? Fahim. 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 Hold on, Fahim. Listen. Relax, okay. Okay. I'm, I, I'm, I'm this relaxed. is not. You are not the first uh, atheist at this point. You know who okay, we are talking. Okay. It's not an atheist versus religious debate. I'm more interested in what's happening. No, that's not. That's what we're trying to get. The whole. That's the reason we stopped you. Yeah, sure. Right. What I'm saying is that. I'm reading it. It's too confusing. No, what I'm saying is that. No, no, yeah. Define nothing. I said it's an absence of matter and energy. So uh, nothing is not the absence of everything. I said, okay, the, in the context you're saying, like nothing is a word which you mm -hmm. can use in many contexts. The context we are talking about okay. is the absence of matter and energy. If, if I say that if I have nothing to give you, can I give you something? As I said, like you cannot just equivocate different contexts together. Like huh. nothing, in the sense of when I say, oh, I have nothing to give you, okay. it's different from the nothing we're talking about in a physical context. That's how can nothing, how can nothing, how can nothing that's give birth to something? Nothing will only beget Why nothing. Can't you? Huh? How, where did you get that? If from? I have no money, how can I? How give can I give you something? As There's I a say, definition like, of nothing. Because you're equivocating. To, I gave you the definition, so you are just asking me the same question. What is the Oxford? De what is the Oxford definition for nothing? The Oxford. De Why? Okay, that's like an argument from authority. Hold on. Just, okay, the Oxford definition says. No, that at least I'm quoting have... you the authority. Why would I need to quote the authority? I am quoting you the authority of physics. Well, so, so the, the absence of like matter. that's the then that's a debate of authority. Like that's not point anymore. So now another thing is in any kind of logical setting, like you cannot debate definitions. Nothing means Since not it, anything. Okay, so like it's I just no I, single thing. No, no, no. Listen. So you ask me like what I mean by nothing in this context. You cannot equivocate nothing definition. In this context, can something come into existence from nothing? Yes. If but I give you nothing, can you build? Can you build a building? I can, but I can not doesn't I, mean. I, no, no. If no, I no, give no. you nothing, if I give you nothing to build a building, can you I build can a building? I can doesn't mean nobody can. I I'm can. asking you. No, I can. So that doesn't prove that. But can you tell me that there's no, no matter, there's nothing, you yeah, know, how I can, can I do something? Yeah. Because so nothing means nothing. No, no, that's a logical fallacy. I cannot do 
doesn't mean that it's not possible. The logic of the fallacy according to you. That's according to logic. Okay. What I'm saying is that no, okay. if I give you okay, nothing to build a building, okay, what's the logic? If fallacy? I give you nothing, what's the logical fallacy? If I give you nothing to build a building, can you build a building? I can't. I can't. I can't. Yeah, I said nothing. No, no, I can't. So what I'm asking here? No, no, listen, listen, listen. There's a logic. So you fallacy. have a position. There's a logical fallacy. So you have a position no, no. which says that nothing. You have to let me speak as well, right? No, I'm answering you. I didn't ask. You I heard your position already. I didn't ask you a question. So no, I'm answering yeah, you. I'm answering the you, point that you mentioned. Yeah, I said you have a logical error here. What is that? Yeah. So let me speak out. Okay, go ahead. So like you said that I can do it. So from there, as I understand, your implication is that it's not possible. Can somebody do it? Somebody. Somebody. If I give somebody some nothing, human, can they? Some human or animal, they can. But in physical sense, it's possible. Can possible. physics build something from nothing? Physics is not a. Can any. can physics build yes. a building from nothing? A building in the sense of a this no. So that so nothing will only create nothing. No, not necessarily. Uh, nothing cannot create. Let's say, at best. Who is that? Who is that logical fallacy right now? You. How? Oh. Yeah, listen. I'm speaking. Okay, about go that. ahead. Let me speak. So what is a logical? Fallacy? What is a logical fallacy? Hmm. That you are referring that something, hmm. like if the if p implies q, so if p is true, uh, then q is true. Okay. But p, if p is false hmm. somewhere. Sorry, if P is true, uh, Q cannot be false anytime. That's what implication means, right? Like the conditional okay. statements. Okay. But if uh, P is true, but Q is false in any particular case, then okay. that implication. This is all word gymnastic. I don't it's want to do that. I, can, I, can draw I asked you a simple question. No, no, no. Can something come from but my the questions are not Can simple. something come into existence? That's the problem. That, listen, the questions are not. If simple. I give you nothing, can you build a tower? Can, okay. So if you don't let me speak, if you don't let me like correct you or something like that, and correct me. Just, yeah. Because if there's a wrong. So you assume answer. that I'm wrong. Yeah, there is a wrong. Yeah. Why? In this particular statement, as I said, a conditional statement. Okay, build it. Okay, build a tripod. I gave you nothing. I said I can. Why? I can for obvious reasons. So that's nothing. Yes, but like all, every kind of nothing and every kind of. Okay, if I give nothing to somebody, can they build something? If, if you let me finish. If I give no, nothing no, to somebody, can. no. Yeah, can, can somebody? No. Somebody okay. in the sense of human, no. Okay. So exactly. So that's what I'm saying. So what we say, okay, so everything now, that. Now let me go forward. Okay, go ahead. Because it, there's a wrong. Word. Because okay. as I say, don't tell me wrong because you assumed already. No, I, I, I can show you that. Okay. If I say P, if P then Q. Okay. P and so, Q. P is some statement. Okay. 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 If uh, a logical fallacy hmm. is when hmm. P is true but hmm. Q is false in at least one case, but you say that P implies Q, that's a logical fallacy. No, I didn't say that. You said that. We never made that statement. No, no, so don't okay, try to okay, put words no, in my mouth. No, I'm not. What you're trying okay, to do now that? let me go forward. You understood something and you're trying to explain me that. So, so let me go forward from here. Okay. So, so just because are, I cannot do something, it's not possible. So you are yourself telling that you cannot do X. Yeah. Why do I have to take confirmation from somebody else? No, no, no. I can do X. Huh? Like, okay, I, I gave you nothing, built a tower. Yeah, I can. Let's say I can. Okay, that means that means yeah. nothing will only be get nothing. No. Yeah. So what we believe that Allah subhanahu wa taala, no, no, the attributes so, of God. Hold on, fine. Hold on. Hold so on. So you won't let on. me talk. You are just no, going to keep. No, I talked to you. Then you heard. I heard you already. No, you didn't. I heard you, you already. You I heard you already. No, you didn't. So you what? can only question me, but I can question you. No, I questioned you already. You answered already. You, so now I'm. You are just beating around the bush now. No, I'm not beating around the bush. Like you and you misunderstood the concept of God. You are beating around the bush. You misunderstood the concept of God. I did not hold any describe to you any particular concept of God. I misunderstood. I'm giving you one. No, no. So yeah. So you, you, you are making statements which you no, are not substantiating. Then you are claiming. No, that I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a statement. I'm gonna substantiate. You haven't allowed no, me to so give, make a statement no. yet. Do you believe that everything that begins to exist has, a, has to have a cause? Not necessarily. What is that? How do you substantiate that? Uh, how do I substantiate that? Yeah. So you substantiate to me first that everything. Because we believe that everything that no. begins to exist has to yeah, have a cause. Yeah, prove that. Prove that. Prove that. Because if I give you nothing, you cannot create anything. You gave a particular example again that it's not generally true. It doesn't have to be generally true. You, you, I made a statement. Me. I substantiated. You didn't. You I told you that's everything not, that begins to exist. Everything that begins to that's exist not. has to have a cause. Prove because it, universe it, began to it. exist. I don't have to prove it. Everybody knows okay, it. Okay, so you, I, I can just say it's not. Necessary it's and I don't have to prove it. Okay, did you did it. you create yourself or you were born out of nothing? What does that mean? Like born out of nothing? What do you mean by nothing? So you were a you were a uh, drop of. I was of, an embryo and everything. Ah. and I had I came out of. So you were a thing. You were a thing that came into existence. Yes. Okay. So the universe. Just because I did doesn't mean generally. Again, you are confusing. No, but you are saying that you are saying that universe came into existence from nothing. It, it, I I said I don't know. So I I'm asking, can Fahim come into existence from nothing? I said I don't know. Can Fahim come into existence from nothing? Ah, okay, that's a. Can no, Fahim that's, again, come into that's existence? A, that's from a nothing. fallacy of taking parts and uh, making it true for the whole. True for parts doesn't imply true for whole. These are basic logical fallacies. Is this all logical stuff? Like the, the different. Then models. I should just illogically no, 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 say. I'm talking about like the group logic. Just common sense, human experience. I prefer logic. 
Yeah, but like, yeah. But you don't believe, nah. Logically, we said that if I give you nothing, can you build something? So, yes, you say you I cannot. Said I can. But you're, but you're, but you're saying that from nothingness, no, the no, universe no. came into existence. I did not say that. I said that's possible. That's possible. Okay, so there's a possibility of clear. But something is possible doesn't mean exactly that happened. So, so that's okay. You it, don't know that for sure. Yeah, I don't. Know and that it. actually confirms one of the words of the Quran, where Allah says that verily they know nothing. They are not certain. Okay, the so people who no, deny no, no. the existence listen, of Creator, Allah said that listen, they know nothing. They are not certain. Yeah, okay, okay. Thank you very much. I, I was just gonna just talk yeah, about this common thing. So there were three main arguments in this uh, pamphlet, and then whether you like it or not, it's like Salam, huh? Salam, and the ideological argument. Like, I don't know what the, the different names are. Or the, the watchtower argument. I don't know what, what you call them. <laughs> but there's three ones. So the, the first one is the beginning of the universe. This is what we were talking about. So I think that's Salam. Perhaps. Uh, is that the argument that where you say that everything begins to have has a cause? The began to exist, therefore it has a cause. This one is, is flawed in some ways. No, this one's just saying that, that there was a beginning to the universe. Okay, that which is not proven. Okay. Yeah, so just, just listen. All it's saying is that everything that exists has, has a beginning. Everything that we know. This tree wasn't a tree before. It was a seed. Before the seed, it was something okay. else. Uh, we, we, weren't, we weren't the first people before. We were sperm, yeah. etc. So the same thing as the universe. The universe had a beginning. Whether you accept the Big Bang or not, that's whatever. That's your own. Thing, but generally, so your main point is it has a beginning. Okay. Yeah, everything has okay. a beginning, including the universe. It began, okay. and then we believe that Allah says be, and it is, and then it began to be. And this, everything came after that. Yeah, everything that has, that was created, has a creator. You know, it's just common sense. Like this table, somebody so created. So uh, your main argument is what? Well, to summarize it. That everything that's created has a creator, including the universe. Okay. So because everything was created and the universe was created. It must have a creator because things can't just come on on their own. Okay, so um, if I understand you correctly, your argument is that the universe had a beginning, yeah, and uh, it was created in the beginning. These are two, two of your premises, and then your uh, third premise is that everything that uh, is created and has a beginning has a creator, right? Yeah. So therefore, you are saying the universe has a creator. That's right. So first of all, as I say, whether the universe had a beginning or not, that's still doubtful. Nobody is sure about that yet. Uh, two, um, just because, okay, so first of all, something has a creator. Are you referring to a conscious creator or some sort of a causal creator? Ultimately, everything has a conscious uh, creator, like, because the creator, I mean, so, well, just, yeah, just like, uh, because that, that's your premise, right? I, so, again, so, I don't want to start. Yeah, yeah, no, no problem. So when it comes to things that are natural, yeah. they all came from God. God created everything that's that, natural. These are advanced, right? You haven't proven that yet. Uh, we're going for a logical. Yeah, yeah. I don't need to, to uh, prove that. This is this is just um, logically common sense. No. So if you get, if you say that I don't have to prove that, I could say you to you the same that I don't have to prove that it does. Okay. Look, I, I right. don't know what kind of good example to give you to. to help like you for example, that, uh, if you if you're for your second premise, I can show you a counter example right now because. No. What what what? Just, no, just, what about the first premise that you don't believe? I said that nobody's sure about that. Okay, look, do, do I need to? No, prove so, to no, just wait one second. Do I need to prove to you that somebody put that sign over there, the subway sign? Do I need to prove no, to no, you to, no, to know that it's no, happen? No, no, listen. He, again, I'm saying this is what the problem is. And that's what I, I was trying to explain to you. Yeah, that you are taking a particular example and that uh, something is true for that particular example. Then you are projecting into the whole universe that that particular thing is true for the whole universe. Like as you said, that can you create a building? I can. Not that you, nor, nor anyone can create a building if you don't give me any material or something, right? But, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's not true in general, that if you can the subatomic level, something out of nothing can come. Listen, I'm not trying to like, uh, you know, sound like an authoritative, like, oh, I know math, so I'm very, but I'm trying to explain that in layman's yeah. terms. Like, no, if there was if no I, God, there would be no math. Again, you, you have a certain belief, hmm. but you're trying to... Okay, no, but, so, so you cannot deny that. The three arguments. Can deny I that. can deny that, because How? Uh, you Just have... Just by saying that I deny? Yes. Uh, How? Listen, let's say, um, Fahim is standing here. Implies that Fahim came from the universe. Does right. Fahim exist? Let me finish this. Okay. So, that's my mistake. So, okay. any P implies Q in the logical sense. It's true only when, whenever P is true, Q has to be true. In any particular case, P is true, but Q is false. Forget about this. What about P and Q, man? So if, I, if, I, don't, if, I don't want to do that. We didn't like even that. have our coffee today. No, <laughs> listen. So, if you, if, you, if you ask me, just throw away all the logic, no, then I, I have nothing to no, talk no, about. So your position at this point is that you don't have a position. Like you don't, you don't no, my position. No, no, no. Like my position just, is just so we substantiate that. 
No, my position is because right like, now what we are assuming. The position of uh, you could call me to an atheist in certain definitions. So you're an so, agnostic because you're not sure. Whatever you like to call me, my position is like. No, there's a term for that. I yeah, don't want to call you everything. Like that. Yeah, sure. Like if, if that falls, like you're that's not, like not important. No, that's not important. You know, okay. like yeah, yeah. Whether okay. I consider yeah. it. So if I say there is no God, then it's up to me to prove that there is no God, right? Mm. So nobody can do that, and uh, a universal negative cannot be proven. So that's not a good position to hold. So what I do is, you tell me that okay, there is a God with this, this, this properties, mm. or maybe a Christian, maybe anyone could tell me that. What I say is that uh, I don't believe it. Uh, prove it to me, or show me some evidence. Okay, one second. So that's my position. Yeah, yeah. So your position is still not clear. Your position is uncertain. I think it's pretty clear, but like it's uh, uncertain. No, it's not uncertain. Like, okay. Can can you make a certain position of yours, like just so we I understand? Just said, I just said. It's uncertain. Now that's what I'm saying. Okay, if you say that's uncertain, then sure. That's okay, so so that actually that actually confirms the position that we have. Is that because the atheists are uncertain? The answer is. So, okay. So okay. yeah. So what I'm trying to what so, I'm trying to just understand is that. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Because your position is not certain. Yeah. So for me to make a comment on your position, yeah. it's gonna be illogical, because no, no, I say that your position is uncertain. No, you're not, it's not. No, no. Okay, listen. This again, certain type of uncertainties and certain type of uncertainties are different. Okay. So just because you are saying it's uncertain, it's not logical. Again, that there is a logical fallacy or fault in position. Hmm. So and if I now draw a truth table for you again, you will say that you are invoking too much symbols and all. So, but there is a logical fallacy. So um, my uncertainty. Your, according to your definition, you said uncertainty. It's just that I said you told me such God X with Y O Z A B property exists. Uh, I still wanna, I still wanna know one more thing, uh, Fahim. No, before, so no, before you continue, before you continue, before you continue, okay. is that I just wanna know your definition of God again. Just so, what are you denying? I am denying all the traditionalistic descriptions of God with the major properties. If I have to summarize the uh, majority of the traditions. Okay, I'll give you the definition of God. Can you tell me if this is the God that you're denying? Yeah, you give. Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Almighty God, He defines Himself in the Quran. Okay, okay He yeah. says, Qul huwa Allahu had. I'm sure you must have heard this. Yeah, I know that. Okay, Qul huwa Allahu. Say He is Allah, the one and only, the uniquely one. Yeah. Allahu Samad. Allah, the absolute and eternal. So we believe in a God who is absolute. That means He is not dependent on anything for something. Okay. And He is always eternal. Past eternal, post eternal. Okay. Lam yelid wa lam yulad. He begets not, nor was He begotten. Yeah, 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 sure. Wa lam yekul there is nothing more to Allah. Is this the God that you're denying? So first of all, so this is your position. Yeah. So this is the definition of God that you're denying. This falls into the all the category. Right? Okay. Yeah. Just so we can have a calm sure, conversation. Sure. Go ahead. So, the, the floor yeah. is all yours. No, it's not like that. You know, we want you to join us. <laughs> join where? <laughs> Here, join. calling people to Allah. I don't think I would do that. I have done it sometimes, but like, okay. anyhow. So um, you said like there is only one unique God and all. Mm. That's the definition. So like. Prove that he exists. Mm-hmm. Where is his signs prove that he exists? Allah yeah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, what Can I answer now? Because he asked the question. No, yeah, so give me one okay, sign. Okay. The universe is his sign. It's not, we discussed that, like it's not necessarily. You the sun and the moon is his sign. No, it's not. So you're denying by just saying that you know it's not. If How I say, okay, Hold okay, on, okay, 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 sure. Hold, 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 let, let me check. Hold on, see, so, you're not like it. you're telling me to do something and you're not doing it yourself. Okay, sure, finish it. I call it I call it being very unjust. No, I'm not. What I'm saying is that. I say that this is an iPhone. Yeah. You are telling me, no, this is not an iPhone. No, I'm I say prove it. He was like, no, this is not an iPhone. No, I, I didn't say that. That's a, that's that's like. I'll tell you this is an iPhone because no, it has an Apple sign here. No, I didn't say that. Made by Apple. I did not. You are okay. assembled in California. No. You are assembled in China, designed in China. Whatever. What you are doing is, I said something. You are turning it into some other category where you can criticize me. Well, no. I did not do that. I did not. I'm not criticizing. I'm just telling you your position, brother. No, I'm not. You're not liking it. That's not my position, brother. That's not my position. Okay, so uh, if you say that the sun and moon is the uh, like uh, sign of God, Hmm. how? How Three of the signs of God. How so? How did they came into existence? I can explain. Hold on, hold on. Instead of saying no, it's not. You can ask how. Yeah. That's like a linguistic nuance. But okay, let's. What linguistic? He's also a major in linguistic. No. Okay, that. Fine. I'm not saying that. But like. Though you no, deny God, we still respect you. I listen. Yeah. I don't want you to respect me or something. You, know, you will not like, like it if I don't respect you. No, no, that's not the point. But the thing is that when you are saying something and that is not logical, it's a what I'm saying is that you're denying certain things by saying that no, it's not. 
but okay. you don't have a proof okay. to prove it. Okay, listen. Okay, no, no, no. Uh, okay. This is your position. This is how it's listen, coming listen. out. Maybe listen. you're not paying attention to that, but this is how it's coming out. Okay, if that's coming out that way, so maybe that's my. No, you're, okay, Sorry, yeah. Okay. How are you going to correct it? So, listen. So you are saying that the sun and the moon is a sign of God. Yeah. So if I ask you how so? Because God said so. Th then it's just an authority. Okay. So how are you denying it? No, no, no. No, the first point is, if you claim something, you have to prove it. Yeah. Otherwise, I deny it. Okay, so I believe that this book is a revelation from Almighty God. Prove it. You're saying, like, hmm. if, if you say something, so you if have you to say, prove it. If you say this book is not from God, yeah. where did it come from? No, no, no. I don't have to say anything. You hmm. said it came no, from I'm God. I'm asking a question. I believe that this book is from God. No, no, no. That, that's Do you believe that this book is from God? I don't. Okay. It's not so for you to deny that, where did it come from then? I don't have to do that. You have to prove that it came from God. Now I could say that it did not come from God. Okay. So it, is, is it my... Uh, okay, so we believe that the Quran okay, so was... Is written, it my I'm, I'm making it, to prove Yeah, yeah, 100% because you're denying. Okay, so, so what no, I'm, no, no, so what I'm I, saying... No, no, no. There's a difference between I'm telling you this is a book. I'm telling you this is a book. Okay. okay. Yeah, sure. You are telling me, no, this is not a book, this is a pen. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. You're giving an example, man. No, uh, but I didn't it's say that. an example. That's okay, I'm just giving an example. So I'm telling you this is a revelation from Almighty God. You are telling... So you do you believe this is a revelation from Almighty God? I don't. So I am telling you is to prove me what is this if this is not from Almighty God. No, no, no. Listen, there is a difference. If I say that this is not a revelation from God. Huh. So what is the grounds on which you are denying that this is not a revelation from listen, God? There is a difference between denying and stating the negative. Okay. So if I say this is not a revelation from God, okay. then I have to prove. What is it then if it is not a revelation from God? I don't claim it's not. Listen. Wait. So if I say it's not a revelation from God, hmm. then it's my responsibility to prove that it's not a revelation from God. God. Okay, so prove it. No, I didn't. So say do you believe that this is not a revelation from God then? You, would you like to finish? Okay. So if I said that, it's my responsibility to prove it. I didn't say that. You say that it's a revelation from God. Mm. I said, okay, prove it. Okay, so allow me to prove it now. Sure, prove okay. it. But if if your proof is wrong, I'm gonna correct you. That's that's the truth. If your proof is wrong, it's not logically valid. Then that's not a proof. Okay. The Quran was revealed on a prophet who did not know how to read and write. Mm. Okay. Can I like? Yeah. Uh, so but where did it come can from? I counter that? Yeah, yeah, please. So uh, that's a circular reasoning. You cannot use circular reasoning. You cannot use the Quran to justify the Quran. Hmm. Because if I say No, I'm not using the Quran to justify the Quran. You said the Quran, the Quran no. says this is that. No. The Prophet was an Ummi. We believe that historically Encyclopedia Britannica says the Prophet Muhammad was an illiterate. No, okay. Okay. He says that he got a revelation from Almighty God. He is an illiterate. Okay. Okay, sure. So can an illiterate man produce this book? Why can't? So the Quran actually Many, mentions. Okay, so the Quran, well, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's no, go one by one now. Oh yeah, that in just in that point. Okay. I want to finish it. Okay. So, uh, is your argument that an illiterate person cannot write a book? Hmm. Is that your argument? Of this kind. What's the particular properties of this? Kind? Okay, so I'm giving you one example of that. Uh, my question is just very specific. No, I'm giving you uh, an example. Yours, of that. You understood your question? No, just. I want Why to are you assuming that I didn't understand your question? I just want to make my question more precise. More clear. Okay. Yeah. So precise or clear? Whichever you like. Clear and precise. Both. Go ahead. Okay. So you are saying that uh, an illiterate person cannot write a book of this kind. Mm. So uh, this kind mm. means that it has certain properties. Right. What are the properties? I was going to give you that, and you assumed that I didn't understand that. I did not assume anything. I just. Why did you repeat mind. it then? Okay. Allow me to go ahead. Because I said I want to make. So the first revelation that came on the prophet. Don't take it like a personal intellectual. No, no, no. Right? I'm not That's insulting not. you. You're not, you're not asking me for my kidneys. Sir. I'm not going to take it. Oh, yeah, exactly. Relax. Yeah. Yeah. The first revelation that was came on the Prophet, it says in Surah Allah, chapter 96 of the Quran, verses 1. Allah says, Read, recite in the name of your Lord, who has created, who has created the human beings from a mingle fluid. Okay. Do you know embryology is a recent development of science? When was it developed? How many years ago? Now you are going to go to like the historic dimensions who came up with that in some sort of like that. Or nah, I ask you a simple question. That's okay. I, okay, first of all, that's not a study area of physics that we know what year embryology came. So nah, I'm giving an example. You asked me to prove my point. I'm proving that. No, I asked you for properties. Like I'm giving you that property. I said one of the properties of the Quran okay, on which you can say. Your argument so that I understand. Okay, I asked you a question. You didn't understand the argument then. Yeah, I didn't. That's okay, I'm so I'm asking you. The Quran says that. Ikhra bismi Read, recite in the name of thy Lord who have created. Yeah. Who have created the human being from the mingle yeah. fluid. Yeah. The Quran is making a claim. Yeah. If you say that Prophet Muhammad actually wrote this. Okay, because I said that he was an illiterate. He cannot come up with this. Yeah, yeah then I didn't say anything. I asked you a question. Okay, so what I'm saying is that because Prophet Muhammad, the peace upon him, was an illiterate, he cannot come up with something like this. Because embryology is a recent development of science. And the word alaka has got a lot of meanings. And one of the meanings of alaka is a mingle fluid. 
right? Another meaning of alaka is something that clings. Another meaning of alaka is a leech-like substance. Okay. Have you heard of Professor Keith Moore? Mm -hmm. Sorry? Professor Keith Moore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you heard of him? Yeah. Who is he? And he was wrong, yeah. He's an embryo embryologist. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are many embryologists talking mm -hmm. about these things. Mm -hmm. I know about Keith Moore. Okay. He uh, kind of supports the Quranic science. Uh -huh. I know. So, uh, Why do you say he's wrong? Just because he said the Quran is right? No, no, no. Uh -huh. no. Uh, uh, okay, I should be more precise. So he is uh, wrong in some of the aspects he said about uh, the Quran and embryology. Okay. Which were like what? Like what? Like for example, the fetal development uh, of the child. Mm. He described some of the stages which were a bit wrong. Why, like what? Which uh, stage was wrong? Uh, like for example, the bone uh, formation, mm. uh, the bone formation stages mm. in the fluid. Mm. He described like something which was. So. What do you mean? I could give you. Give me the reference. Right now? Yeah, right. Okay, sure. Yeah. Uh, maybe you could just open YouTube. Oh, you open and show me. I'm not making that claim. Okay, so, yeah, we could debate about that. That's a different issue. Like, okay. could, could you finish your argument? Okay, so what I'm saying is that, yeah. so one of the meaning of alaha is a mingled fluid. Okay. Right? Another meaning of alaha is a leech-like substance. Okay. Another meaning of alaha is something that clings. Okay. And we know that embryo, yeah. at the initial stages of pregnancy, yeah. it just looks like a clot of blood. Sure, yeah. Right? And yeah. one of the meaning of alaha yeah. is a clot of blood. Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, he was an illiterate and there was no microscopes at this point, okay. 1440 years ago. Okay. How did he make that claim? So, uh, do you assume that just because... Uh, See, I'm asking a question. Don't ask a question when you're answering a question. So, okay, sure. sure. Yeah, I mean... No. The, the, so, okay, he can make that claim. My mm -hmm. answer is that. So, now... How? Yes, now how? So, uh, in order to ask that question mm -hmm. to, from you to me, is that uh, you, you, you have to have an assumption that without the modern developments and em of embryology, mm. nobody can state some correct things about embryology. Right. That's your assumption, mm. right? But that's not true. How because would how would how would they make a claim otherwise? Okay, just for one particular in many ways he could. One particular example is that he or maybe his subordinate or anyone mm. who just they could have just guessed it and it just how? happened to be correct. Okay. They don't know. That's one example. One of the meanings of alaka is a clot of blood. Yeah, Another meaning of alaka is a leech-like substance. Yeah, they could just. And you know that the embryo in the initial stages of pregnancy, yeah, so it just looks like a leech. Yeah. So one particular. Another meaning of alaka is something so, that clings. So, you are, so uh, in order for you to. And ask, you know that the embryo in the initial stages of yeah, pregnancy, it not just argument. sucks the blood from the mother; it yeah, also you, clings you, to the you, uterine you, wall. You said your argument. So now. So all I'm of these things. Yeah. You, 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 under under you, guessing you, process, you cannot keep guessing and getting it right hundred percent. Yeah. So that's why many of the things in the Quran also have been like does not really go well together with the modern science. Right. Do you think the so, universe is an expand? Universe is what? Is expanding. Yeah. When did you come so, to know about that? Sorry? When did you come to know about that? Uh, in about 1950s, 60s. So the Quran mentions in Surah Dariyat. Okay, okay so uh, I'll come to that point. So, uh, first of all, you assume mm. that uh, without the modern developments, mm. nobody could have possibly wrote the right thing. For example, we did not have uh, many of the concepts of modern physics, mm. but many of the ancient philosophers, mm. they speculated on many things and mm. some of those things turned out to be right actually. Mm. So even without the modern developments, people could speculate and some of those things could turn out to be very right. Okay. So it's plausible. One of the examples could be in many ways. Okay. Muhammad would have, like, so Prophet you know, Muhammad guessed that the, that the, could, that the, you know, the, the embryo was, you know, uh, the, the human being started from an alaha, he guessed it. And then he, he also have, guessed. He could have. He also, okay, he hold on, hold on. Calm down. I am calm. Don't just. Like, Prophet never claimed the authority to that. He said that he, he attributed it to God. Okay, sure. Listen. So, if Prophet would have attributed that to himself, so, would have got a okay, so Nobel I, Prize. Uh, no, no, no. Right or wrong? No. He attributed that to God. So just because he never he said that, you know, he never said that, you know, this is my guess. No, no. I am no. saying that embryo in so the initial stages of pregnancy. It's true, just because he said it's true. No, then, you prove me wrong now. Because you asked me, how do I distinguish that? How do I prove that? I'm telling you. What? Because he wasn't what, illiterate, what he didn't know how to read and write. No, the okay. person who has never read anything, no, so, never okay. wrote anything. Okay, so just, this doesn't make sense. Listen, so uh, just you're, because you don't believe. No, 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 it, it's not making sense. So maybe I am dumb, or maybe you are not making sense at all. Either could be true. Mm. So uh, he could have guessed it, mm. and then you are saying that. Then your argument is just, but he claimed that God gave him. Is mm. that further argument is that yeah. right? Yeah. So just because he claimed that mm. does not make it true. What is the probability of somebody guessing and, and getting, getting it right 100%? Every single time, not even once. Okay, it's not 100%. We could go through the Quran and many other okay, things. Okay, do, do you believe uh, what was the shape of the earth before that people used to believe? Wait, uh, shape like, of the earth. 
are you talking about the flat earth and round earth thing? Mm. Yeah, people used to believe flat earth. But flat earth. When yeah. did you come to know it's uh, not flat, but it the is. Universe uh, is flat. Earth is flat? The universe is the universe, universe, not the earth. The earth is flat? No, the universe is flat. Okay, universe is flat. Like, I mean, I've never heard of that. That's a science thing. Now. Yeah, yeah. That's like the, there is something called the curvature. But anyhow, that's like, like more science. Oh, what is the flat. shape of the earth? It's round, yeah. Round it. Like when did you come to know about that? Ellipsoid. When did you come to know about that? Yeah, it's like, uh, I don't know, 13th century or something like that. Just recently? If you 400 years ago, 500 years ago, 600 years ago. Yeah. Okay, the Quran says in Surah Nazia, chapter 79, verse number 30. Can I conclude, brother? Yeah, sure. I'm sorry for that. No, you did. Okay. And I did actually yeah. felt like that. Okay. Surah Nazia, chapter 79, verse number 30, Allah says, Wal arda baada dalika daha ha. Okay. The Arabic word referred is daha ha. Daha ha comes from the root Arabic word duya, which means the shape of the egg of an ostrich. Okay. And if you refer to, if you check the shape of the earth, to the shape of the egg of an ostrich, it's not spherical, it's geospherical in shape. Okay. Right? How did the Prophet know about the shape of the earth 1400 years ago? Okay. Again, like plus he guessed two. it and he got it right. No, I'm not saying he could have guessed it there. Okay, so now, okay, so uh, by your logic, if let's say he didn't guess it, mm. he found it. So whoever uh, found something to be true, mm. uh, but it wasn't known before, mm. then he is a prophet of God then. No, you don't make that claim. Neither did I make that claim. Okay, so I'm telling okay, you how okay, you so are. Okay. I made a claim. I made a claim that this book is from God. No, no, no listen. We are just at this point of the argument where mm -hmm. you are saying that the prophet claimed this, this, this thing. Which you are the not problem, the problem, what you're doing is, see, yeah. Would you like hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Me I have to correct this before you make a claim. Okay. The sorry. moment I'm asking you a question, you are asking me a question in return. No, the question to a question is not the answer to the question. No, because uh, okay. Because you are clearly evading the question and your consciousness no. actually knows that. No, no, no. It, listen you are evading no. the question, your consciousness Would actually you like knows that. No, listen. First of all, uh, if you ask a question from which actually holds certain premises, then I have to question those premises. Okay. okay? How did the Prophet know that? Listen, yeah. So that's where I'm coming. If you let me speak, I'll clarify that. So when you ask me that, uh, for example, uh, Prophet was illiterate, but this book is there, mm. then I asked you a question. So if everybody who is illiterate, mm. Like cannot write a book. Mm. Why did I ask that question? Mm. Because there was a hidden. Everybody tradition. didn't come up with the Quran. It was okay. only one man no. that came up with the Quran. I'm just clarifying. Why oh, I'm just because you are. No, I'm I'm clarifying why I'm asking questions. No, no what I'm I have to actually make a statement and make it very clear right now because you said no, that no. everybody 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 didn't come up with the Quran. There was only one man who okay, came up okay. with the Quran. That's a different. Point. That's uh -huh. a different. Point. Okay, that's that's a different point. Same point. I have to correct that. Yeah. Okay, that's a different point. So, so listen. So when you ask me that uh, the, oh, prophet was, the prophet was the but he wrote this book. Therefore, it's no, he, he got the revelation from Almighty God. Prophet didn't yeah. know how to read and write. Okay, so that, yeah, that's that was your argument, mm. right? Yeah. So then, uh, in order to have, uh, then you ask me, then how, how did this book came? If the prophet don't repeat the question that I asked you. Answer okay. the question that I'm yeah. asking. No, that, repeating the question. No, no, because if, you I, ask if, me why if you I'm fail in the no, examination, no, 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 no. If no, you do no, no, this no, thing, listen, listen. will you pass in the examination? No, no, if the no, question listen. paper is given to you. In the answer sheet, you no. write the same questions again. No, listen, listen. You write the same question. You are not in a position to examine me. No, listen. You are not in a position to examine me. So listen, you asked me this question, so then I asked you a question back that, okay, uh, is everyone who is illiterate cannot write a book? So why did I ask that question? No, because he asked me why I keep asking questions back. So I'm clearing why I ask questions back. Like we go, have, we have to go one point by one point, right? You just cannot like keep it coming up one much, much so, Yeah. That's what I said, if a question paper is given to him. No, no, no. And he's asked to write the answer, and if you keep repeating the no, questions, no, if the questions the are sheet, dumb, I don't have to answer. Fail. Look, no, like there's no dumb questions in the exam papers. Listen, these are dumb questions. Why are you answering them? Keep watching them. That's okay. I but think we are okay, wasting so time why on you, uh, why this guy. Call me out Read here. the first. That's why okay. You call, call me out here. You call okay. Me out here, then I started talking. Then you are just you turned. We thought you were a logical person who we can discuss. Yeah, I, I, I thought that too, but so when I actually started pointing out your logical fallacy, you didn't like. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much. Yeah, all right, fine. You know, may God guide you. Yeah, may God guide you. Also. Yeah, I mean, yeah.